Okay, going to test the linkage for the jaw real quick. Wired the servos back up. Doesn't look like I'm going to have a problem hooking this up, so I'll do that real quick. We can uh, see how it works, whether or not it's going to close all the way. Something binding there just a little bit. Let's see what I can come up with. Looks like the linkage through the skull is binding. And as I had said before, I don't really like bending these linkages. I might have to do that in this case, though. And I also need to screw it down a little bit so that it's not quite as, the jaw is not quite as open. The servo is up as far as I want it to go. So, we'll adjust that and get back. Okay, got the jaw problem resolved. Wasn't with the linkage at all, it was with the uh, Lindbergh skull that I had, the socket and the jaw. I'll show you how that uh, came together in just a second. Uh, now I've got a full range of motion. This is a wider range than I will probably use when I'm actually animating the skull. But I did want to make sure that it would work properly and close properly. Now I've set the servo limits so that it's just shy of completely closed and this ball and socket connection is a very very uh, nice tight precise connection uh, there's no flapping of the jaw let me show you what the problem was with the jaw there are these little pins that fit into the sockets in the skull and these pins were not machined very well or the, came out of the mold very poorly and they ended up binding. I ended up having to go in and take my Dremel tool and kind of better define the pins, make them a little bit smaller so they fit in the sockets easier. And you can see now that's the way a jaw should move if you don't want your servo to bind. Um, if, if, you, if you put it in a position and it stays there, that's probably going to eventually uh, work your servo um, you know, pretty hard. So I would suggest that you make sure that there's free movement in the jaw before you assemble everything. I missed that one. And there we go. Pretty straightforward. Okay, here's the finished product. Turns out pretty nicely, I think. Operates the way I wanted it to. <laughs> anyway, I think you get the idea. Had a little bit of centering to do still. <coughs> but that's about it. I'll put an eye kit into this uh, later and if I have a chance I'll show you how to stain the skulls so that they look uh, much more realistic. You can see the other skull there to the right. I have a few that are stained and I'm going to stain this particular skull but I have to dismantle it again to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. This is the Graveyard Workshop, and I'm Scott. Have a great day.